Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Welcome to another weekly wrap-up. This week, we're going to talk about what you missed on the channels, as well as the Battlefield 2042 beta is coming out this week. I'm so excited. Let's go talk about it. Okay, minions, let's get right into it. This past week, I posted, or rather, finally published a video I uploaded a while ago, which was the full Battlefield 4 campaign. And for those who aren't aware, Battlefield 2042 is set in the Battlefield 4 universe. It is essentially a sequel to Battlefield 4, even though 2042 will not have a single-player campaign. There will be story components tied in with the live service portion of Battlefield's online only experience. So if you missed the Battlefield 4 campaign or just want to go back and revisit it and see the introduction of the character Irish and all of that, uh, go check it out and here is a clip from that video. Step on it, David. retrieve the intel and in the event of a Chinese military coup the Russians would be loyal to Admiral Chang that confirms the report from our asset in China so Staff Sergeant Dunn was killed for something we already know there's rioting in the streets of Shanghai captain and the Russians are getting involved we needed to know for sure that we had to lock down Suez is delicate enough one wrong move we're talking war you have your orders captain aye aye steaming towards the east coast of China. Okay, so after that, I posted a, another video from the Halo Infinite Tech Preview. Uh, this time it was a Capture the Flag gameplay that I thought was a good one, and I decided to do a little Wheezy's War College spin on it and talk through uh, the gameplay, give some hints on Halo uh, in general, as well as Capture the Flag specifically. Um, Anytime you see me stick that Wheezy's War College logo on a video, you can guarantee there's going to be some good value in there. The opportunity to not only enjoy the video, but also learn something that you can take into your gameplay and hopefully improve and have more fun. Uh, so here is a clip from that Halo Infinite gameplay. So um, there they recaptured it. Our guy scored. That was some impromptu teamwork, just if you understand how Halo works. You don't have to talk to your teammates to do that. Here I'm getting 2v1, so rather than trying to stick out that fight, uh, I back up, throw a grenade to try to force them back, and then look for a limited line of sight so that I can get the advantage on that fight. So I kill that one guy. Uh, the other guy stupidly comes back and picks up the flag, not trying to address where I am. Um, and so I managed to clean them up. I don't know where this other guy comes from, so he startled me a little bit, but I managed to clean him up as well. So, yeah, you just gotta go with that. I, oh, I took what should have been them getting the flag relatively easily if they had two or three players um, there against me, but using cover, using limited lines of sight, I was able to get the advantage in that engagement and keep them off. And we scored again. And the team, one of the guys on the other team brought me a rocket launcher, so I managed to, I managed to get some use out of that as well. Um, yeah, so you can definitely expect a couple more Halo Infinite videos from the tech preview over the next week or so, as well as almost certainly some decent Halo content when the game launches in December, just because this game feels really solid. I'm excited for it. I kind of wasn't super looking for it. It wasn't like huge on my radar, um, but now I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, after that, I posted a gameplay from a new game that got dropped um, on the X Pass. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Um, it's obviously, it's a full game. You can just buy it by itself, but if you have Game Pass Ultimate, Lemnus Gate dropped. So I decided to give it a try. It's a first-person shooter, but that works in time loops where you play 25-second rounds and you give your character a task. You go and try and achieve the objective, and then the other team can try and stop your character, and then after that 25-second round, you get a new character to add in, and it all adds up, and you can kill... 
It's really interesting. It's fascinating. I've never even heard of or seen a gameplay concept like this in a first-person shooter, which is kind of hilarious considering I'm playing Deathloop right now. Um, but it's worth a look. It's, uh, it's a good amount of fun. I might even go back and spend some more time with it um, just because there might be some time available before these big games launch. But it's worth checking out, and here's a clip from Eliminus Gate. Death Blow. Let's try that. I will protect this realm. Oh man. Yeah, let's get it. Let's just fire some rockets around here. Be victorious. <laughs> See if I can kill their rocket dude. Engage. I'll cover you. Oh yeah, saved him. Great work. I'm not <laughs> not sure what else I can do here. Uh <laughs> be a distraction, I guess, so they have to shoot someone else. Got myself killed. Oh, I walked into my own rocket! Oh, that's, that's funny. Funny, funny. So yeah, that was what was on the main channel this week. I also posted one more video to Storytime this week. Episode 3 of Deathloop. Uh, the live commentary is up there. Uh, I am really just loving Deathloop. And I'm loving it so much that I'm spending time playing it. And I have like 14 or 15 episodes stacked up. Even though I've just got the thirst... The thirst... The thirst one. Third one posted. Um, so I'll be trickling those out as I go uh, to supplement that. If you guys need extra wheezy in your life, I think those videos are entertaining, not just because the game itself is entertaining, but I like, you know, running my mouth and being silly during those as well. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, if you do, go check out Storytime and subscribe over there. Uh, and here is a clip from episode three of Deathloop. Hello? Oh, there, ah, oh, damn it. Took your precious LPP, yeah, you know me. Too smart, too fast, too powerful. I'm not even mad about it. You know you could do better. You can go fuck yourself. Thanks, Juliana, you bitch. You don't call me. I call you. Where's my LPP? I'm not done. This isn't your show. It's mine. I run this place. You want out? You gotta go through me. That one yeah, is so... Some sort of hostile job taker. The head of security protects the loop. The opposite of whatever it is you're doing right now. Cool. So I'll just do your own thing then. What was that? Writing hacky bullshit for a bunch of dickbags and uh -huh. I don't... Looks like somebody came by to say hi. I'm not finished yet. I locked the doors so the TV can get acquainted. What? what? No. Two little tunnels. Brilliant design, really. And all <gasps> courtesy of the captain. Wait, shit. Fuck this. Got to lock my tunnels? Then I'll just have to unlock them. Yeah. Juliana may enter the district to hunt you down. Okay, so go check all that stuff out. You guys know how it works. I will put links in the description for this video. The Battlefield 2042 beta comes out this week. I'm so excited to get my hands on this game. I'm, I feel like the Battlefield beta is going to be a lot like the Call of Duty beta in that these betas are really, again, just kind of public demos. Um, but the way this one is working is they've got a four-day beta right now. I think it's the 6th through the 9th, if I remember correctly. The first two days are early access for people who've pre-ordered. The second two days are for everyone, anyone who wants to download it and try it, which is why it feels like a demo. Um, but because they delayed the game and delayed the beta, I'm hoping that means that this thing is going to be in a solid state. Hopefully that's the reason why they got this delay, so that what they can release as their beta, as their demo, is going to be solid and a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're not sure if you want to pre-order, from what I understand, the easiest kind of ethical way to get into the beta is if you want to try an EA Play trial subscription. I think they have like a, uh, on PlayStation and Xbox right now, a trial membership. So you pay a dollar and you get EA Play, which would get you into early access for the beta. Or you can just wait and do the last couple of days uh, public access. But that's one way of doing it if you haven't pre-ordered. I've already pre-ordered, um, as you guys are probably well aware by now. So, um, 
Uh, I pre-ordered for PlayStation 5, so that's where I should add access to it. That said, I'm also a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, um, which comes with EA Play, so I should have early access on my Xbox as well if I want to try it there. Um, and then I may, who knows, maybe I'll even try it out on the public beta on the PC, just so I can try all the platforms. I don't know, we'll see how much time I've got. Um, but yeah, that, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, are you guys on the fence about 2042? Have you pre-ordered? You looking forward to the beta? Are you gonna use the beta as a way to decide whether or not you wanna pre-order? Let me know what you guys think. I personally, like, I'm not worried about evaluating it as a beta or whatever. I just wanna play the game, and I'm excited to just to get my hands on it. And, and I, the Call of Duty Vanguard beta kind of left me with a sour taste in my mouth about Vanguard. The Halo Infinite, so that wasn't a beta, tech preview, has made me super excited for Halo Infinite. So there, there could be some ramifications for me emotionally on this 2042 beta. Either it'll be great and will get me super excited for Battlefield 2042's full release in November, or maybe it'll make me super worried <laughs> like the Vanguard one did. The Vanguard beta made me feel like, okay, well, this is not going to be a great multiplayer Call of Duty. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there, make this one a pretty quick one. And let me know what you guys think. Are you excited? Not excited? You like? I don't even care about Battlefield. I'm gonna play a different game. Let me know, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.